Draw a line following your reference image. Duplicate the layer, then select back the original. Change the stroke thickness, to match the thickest part, of your reference image. Then change the stroke profile, to match the thinnest part. Expand the stroke. Set the fill to a different color than the stroke one. And set the stroke value. Select the duplicate. And select either the first, or last node. With the pen tool, draw a line to connect the two nodes together, outside of the main tentacle shape. Switch the stroke to a fill. And drag the duplicate layer, inside of the original. To create the suckers, make a circle. Duplicate it. And scale it in, while holding Ctrl Alt. Move the small circle, inside the big circle. Select the big circle. And create a symbol. Hold Shift Alt and drag the shape down, to create a duplicate. Lock the aspect ratio, and set the width, to 90%. Press Ctrl J, multiple times, to duplicate it, as many times needed. Select the tentacle layer, duplicate it, call it path. Delete the layer from inside it. And remove the fill. Delete one side of the path, keeping the part, where you want, the suckers to be. Then convert it, to a text path. Drag select the circles, and press Ctrl C, to copy them. Now select the path layer again, and click on it, press Ctrl V, to paste the circles. Reverse the curve to make the shapes start, from the other side. Then press Ctrl A, to select all circles. In the character settings tab, tweak the horizontal scale, to adjust the distribution of the circles, along the path. If you are happy, with the distribution of the circles on the path, convert the path to a curve, to avoid random text path transformation glitches, that you can't undo. Turn off Sync in the Symbols tab. Drag select the circle symbols on the side, and delete them. Turn Sync back on. Double click one of the circle symbols twice. Add a fill. And move it over the outer line, of the tentacle. Scale and rotate it, according to your needs. Turn sync off. Duplicate the path group. Drag it under the tentacle. Name it outline. Then set the stroke thickness, to match the stroke of the tentacle.